Hey sweeties, can you hear me? It's your girl Tessa Nard, do you feel me? Cue the best intro on YouTube, period. Hey sweetie, where's my phone? Can you hear me? Oh, you know what? Are you off this one? y'all so basically as you've seen the title hopefully y'all y'all know before me you're gonna see the thumbnail hopefully this turns out good y'all i'm about to do bantu knots or whatever basically i wasn't even gonna show myself moisturizing my hair or anything like that i was just gonna already come with the moisturizer on camera and then like you know just start doing the bantu knots but i kind of like want to talk to y'all a little bit you know, just talk to you about my hair a little bit and like a lot of stuff that some of y'all been saying. Yeah, before we even get into that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, y'all follow me on TikTok. You feel what I'm saying? 10k before the end of the year, period. I have my laptop back here because I was gonna play some music or something like that, but we really about to just get into this because, yeah, I just gotta address some things because people think they know my hair more than me, and yeah, let's get into this, period. We really about to get into this, so. A lot of people always be trying to act like, I don't know, like, I don't know how people just be trying to act with me. People just be really trying to be funny with me, I'm not gonna lie. This this is my natural state right here. You can see my hair, this is my natural state or whatever. Hold on, I just need to pull down some edges because it's looking a little wild. But let me just first start off by saying this is my natural state, y'all, right here. I did not blow dry my hair. This is literally fresh off the shower. This is how my hair is looking right now. Literally, my hair's been inside this uh t-shirt for like a minute. Cause I heard like people say it's not good to like use a towel to like you know dry your hair. It like cuts it or whatever. People would like to say stuff about how my hair is damaged and all this different stuff. If my hair was damaged, would it look like this? Would my hair be curling the way it does when I do it? Mm, no. They be saying all this different stuff like, oh, look at the front of her hair. Like on my TikTok, people were saying all this different stuff like, oh, look at the front of her hair or whatever. Like, I think I might do the Bantu nuts as I uh, moisturize. Okay, I'm gonna just do it like that. So basically people were saying stuff like, oh, Look at her hair, like, in the front. Like, she's breaking her edges and all this different stuff. Like, no. When I was a freshman or whatever, that's when I kind of started really getting into my hair, like, later on down the year. Because when I tell y'all that I did not used to, like, uh, do my hair at all. Like, I was getting my hair done back to back. So, it was, like, I didn't, like, have to do my hair or anything like that. Like, I didn't know how to do my hair. Like, I was, like, one of those girls. I did not know how to do my hair. My hair is still kind of shrunk right now, so just don't mind how I'm putting it into the ponytail. I was like one of those girls who did not know how to do their hair, y'all, like at all. And there came a point where I wasn't able to get my hair done and I had to do my natural hair. So, you know, I always knew like for a while that like, you know, my natural hair in the front, like it's like my edges is like in the front, it's not full. So I know it would look some type of way. So I'm not blaming the people who's coming to my page like oh saying that but bro my hairline has always been like this literally it's always been like this before i was even slicking my hair like freshman year before i even started slicking my hair like i was barely even do slicking it the way i did it it was not even compared to how i'm slicking it now or whatever so literally hold on let me show y'all what i'm using what i'm about to put on my hair i'm about to put this castor oil in this thing i'm about to put in but basically y'all I would like literally not even be stuck in my hair anything. Like I was literally like I think I was just using like eco, literally like. So, I would slick my hair. I'm I'm just getting into a distract that I'm acting like I can't multitask. But basically, I'll basically stick my hair or whatever. And I knew my hairline was the way it was. It just always been like that. Uh, also, like I remember when I was younger, I had also went to this hairstylist that also kind of cut my me and my sister's edges or whatever. And my hair just just always been like that in the front. It's like my actual hair would grow, but my hairline was just like it would just never really grow for real. I don't know why, but that's just how it was to be honest if you guys have any tips or anything to tell me like how to grow my hairline let me know you know i'm open to suggestion but the other thing is just like don't act like you know my hair and talk about something oh 
you know, her hair is breaking because the way she's slicking her hair or something like, like no, that don't make no sense. This is the next thing I'm about to put in. This cream of nature, cream oil moisturizing hair lotion. This thing makes my hair so soft, y'all. Literally, so I would recommend this. But basically, yeah, like people would just try to act like, oh, she's like, you know, breaking her hair because the way she's slicking her hair. Like, that's not even it. Like, that's literally not even it. I'm about to put in just a little bit of ego. I just want to see how this thing gonna come out. Dang, all them people out there. But yeah, so that's one thing I just had to say. Like, stop acting like you just know my hair more than me. Like, that just didn't make no sense to me. I'm thinking about getting, um, me and my sister are actually thinking about getting biotin. Cause bro, I really need to, I really want to grow my, like, me and my sister used to always stay saying that, like, bro, we want to grow our, uh, hairline, our edges, like, more, cause, bro, trust me, I know how it looks, I literally know how it looks, I just don't know why my hairline looks like that, I don't know, but no, like, if y'all know anything that I can use, let me know, like, I'm open to suggestions, it's just annoying when people try to talk to me, like, or be telling me what I should be doing with my hair, like, you feel what I'm saying, like, that's just kind of annoying. Yeah, that's like my oldest heat. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, I just wanted to clar clarify and just get this in the video. The only time I'm using heat on my hair is the time I'm going to get it done, like you know, getting braids or stuff like that. Like other than that, when I'm doing my natural hair, I do not need to use heat on my hair. Like I do not even be using heat on my hair. I used to a lot, but I don't even be doing that no more. What are you talking about heat? Like I don't even use heat on my hair. Literally, y'all, these pictures, I'm gonna put them on the screen. These pictures on the screen, that's me without even putting heat on my hair. So it's just kind of like, bro, what are you saying to me? I literally do what I'm doing right now to tank on my hair, put the oil in it or whatever. Or like, you know, I do stuff like, I literally do this. I might have not been these products or whatever, but I literally detangle my hair or whatever, stretch it out so I don't have to blow dry and then, you know, just start like, you know, doing my hair after that. Just in case, in case some of y'all may have skipped or whatever when I was talking, the two products that I showed y'all is basically what I'm using to also like you know do the Bantu knots and a little bit like literally a little bit of ego. That's it.
video y'all so i finally finished i did my edges and stuff because you know why not it took so long so looks in the back no mirror but yeah i guess i'm gonna just get back to y'all the day of when i'm taking it out period okay y'all so it's literally the next day it's currently 12 56 so yeah i was gonna do my makeup i just decided to do my eyebrows uh wear lashes and then just lip liner because i ran out of foundation so yeah this is what we're about to be doing so we're about to be taking it out i forgot my little comb stuff i'll be right back all right y'all so before i to, uh put it back well before i take it out i'm about to put this wild girl in it like yeah you could have got something like debating on whether I should do like a little style in the front and then leave the rest out. Why is it so bright like that? That's how it's looking. It looks cute, but I don't know. I'm alive with some people on TikTok, but yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to y'all and just show y'all what I end up doing. All right, y'all. So this is basically how my hair turned out and how I'm keeping it. Keep y'all close up. This is how it's looking, y'all. So cute, so cute. I like him, give y'all 360. It's cute, period. <sighs> I wish y'all could, it's not really anything. I just literally just put it into a ponytail, put a little bit of gel, and then just picked it out, y'all, literally. But this is how it is looking. It's cute. I'm really messy with this. I used to do hair stuff like this, like when my back freshman year. But my hair couldn't fit into a ponytail, literally. But yeah, I'm really messed with this, y'all. If you guys like this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your post notifications on so you get notified every time I post a video. If you're not subscribed right now, you're watching this video right now. Like, what are you doing? Subscribe so you can be a part of the Cool Kid Crew. Period. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, y'all. Follow me on TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, and all of that. Everything. Well, not Snapchat. I don't be on there. But yeah, just follow me. My links are down in the description box. But yeah, so. We gone, period. I'm really messing with this, it's cute. We gone, peace.